Alright, welcome back everyone to Let's Play The Last of Us. I see some shadows through here. It looks like we've got some nursing staff. Sweet Jesus. Doctor? What are you doing in here? I won't let you take her. This is our... Don't come any closer. No! Fucking animal! Now, shut the hell up! Come on, Ellie. Come on, baby girl. I got you. I got you. Shit. You can't save her. Even if you get her out of here, then what? How long before she's torn to pieces by a pack of clickers? That is, if she hasn't been raped and murdered first. It ain't for you to decide. It's what she'd want. And you know it. Look. You can still... Do the right thing here. She won't feel anything. Still wearing off. What happened? We found the fireflies. Turns out there's a whole lot more like you, Ellie. People that are immune. There's dozens, actually. Ain't time a damn bit of good, neither. They've actually... They've stopped looking for a cure. I'm taking this home. I'm sorry.
Looks like we're walking. Should be a straight shot through here. All right. It's actually kind of pretty, ain't it? Yeah. I think I ever told you, but uh, Sarah and I used to take hikes like this. I think, uh, I think the two of you would have been would have been good friends. I think you really would have liked it. I know she'd have liked it. I bet I would have. further now. This game is so beautiful. I'd forgotten. I'd stepped away from it for a while. I got you. All right, come on. Hey, wait. Back in Boston? Back when I was bitten? I wasn't alone. My best friend was there. And she got bit too. We didn't know what to do. So... She says... Let's just wait it out. You know, we can be all poetic and just lose our minds together. I'm still waiting for my turn. Ellie. Her name was Riley, and she was the first to die. And then it was Tess. And then Sam. None of that is on you. Oh, you don't understand. I struggled for a long time with surviving. And you... No matter what... You keep finding something to fight for. Now, I know that's not what you want to hear right I now. Swear though, to me. Swear to me that everything that you've said about the Fireflies is true. I swear. Again, Naughty Dog. Fantastic development company. Um, their games never cease to impress me. Granted, I've only played the Uncharted series in this, but still, they tend to be very fun. I mean, gameplay is just fantastic. They tend to also have a great story. And I really enjoyed this game. I can see why it got nearly perfect scores across the board. This is one of the highest rated games ever.
This is like certain sites that I've attend gone to where they've reviewed this. This is like in the top five games of all time um, that they at least that they've have rated. I really enjoy this game. It's a market that's become flooded with all these different zombie games. I mean, you've got like Dead Rising, you've got Left 4 Dead, you have uh, a bunch of different games. I'm, I'm, I'm drawing blanks on other titles, but there's this zombie craze going on. And a lot of people mistake that this game is zombies. And I guess in some ways it is, but at least they try to approach it with a um, sort of a fresh approach in bringing in the Cordyceps fungus. And, and that's the one thing that attracted me to this game. I wouldn't have played it at all had um, the story not contained something of that aspect. I'm, I'm just tired of zombies in general. But, um, I love this game. Really enjoyed it. It took me a long time to get around to actually finishing it, and for that I apologize. I, uh, I get distracted very easily. And there we go. Ashley Johnson, Troy Baker, Troy Baker is the man of the hour, or so it seems. This year he's doing vocals for so many games. We've got, um, oh, good grief. There's Last of Us that he's in. He did um, Bioshock Infinite, where he was doing vocals in that. He's doing vocals in um, Batman Arkham Origins, which I'll be getting later this year. He plays the Joker. I think he also does vocals in, um, he did, uh, no, I, I almost said Deadpool, Deadpool, but that, that was Nolan North. There's just so many people out there that he voices, uh, Troy Baker, he and Nolan North do a lot of voiceover work, and it's, it's really impressive to see the this full spectrum of their abilities and the variety of games that they do. But, uh... I, I've seen that there's multiplayer in this game and it, it seems pretty fun. Um, generally, I don't play multiplayer. I still haven't tried this out even though we're sitting here July 30th. <laughs> the game's been out for about a month and a half, and I haven't even done the multiplayer yet. I'm finally getting around to finishing up the main storyline. There's so many aspects about this game that I really enjoy. It's the survival. I tend to not be very good at that kind of thing. I'm actually impressed with myself that I managed to finish this on hard difficulty. Um, I, I understand I use some of the um, special abilities that you have, like your uh, listening mode or whatever, where you can see through walls and stuff, and that's uh, a lot of people see that as cheating. Or... And originally I didn't want to use it very much, but I think I ended up using it a bit too much. <laughs> But, yeah, so we've got this game that I just completed. Um, upcoming titles. Uh, we have several LEGO games that I'm interested in playing. I actually have a LEGO Pirates LP that is almost done, except I'm not doing like an LP LP. I'm doing like 100% completion of the game. And all I have to do is do the free play levels like play through all the levels collect all the items in these levels so I'm thinking I'll probably do Lego Pirates um, 
we also have, well, I also have Lord of the Rings, Lego Lord of the Rings. I don't know if I'm going to do that one or not. Um, at least may not record it. And I have Lego Batman 2, which I probably will do. I enjoyed that game. I really enjoyed the, the ones that have the voiceover. And then Lego Marvel, I'll definitely be playing that. Lego Batman 2 is uh, probably one of my favorite Lego games because they bring in the superheroes and the villains and I, I don't know DC Comics very well beyond like Batman or Superman and uh, a little, little bit of Green Arrow but I really like it so I'll, I'll probably be playing those then August 20th we have um, was that Splinter Cell Blacklist is coming out and I'll be playing that I have some high hopes for that game um, it looks like they took a step back from the direction that Conviction had gone uh, and this step back took them a little bit closer to way things were in the Chaos Theory I'm hoping I'm hoping 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 uh, I love the Splinter Cell series. I've played all of them, with the exception of uh, Double Agent. I didn't really care for that one. and never actually finished it. But I fought, bought the first Splinter Cell way back when it first came out. So I'm looking forward to this. Anyways, The Last of Us. Like I said, fantastic game. Very enjoyable. I loved my time with it. I just wonder if there's going to be anything else here. Maybe hidden things, no matter what hard difficulty. Please tell me that you're going to unlock the easier difficulties as well. Doesn't look like it. I was hoping it would give me trophies for all the lesser difficulties. Or is there no... Uh, we're... Okay, yeah, here we go. No matter what. I didn't collect as many, or all the collectibles. I was hoping that I would try to, but I wasn't using a guide for this, so it's only natural that I wouldn't get everything. I think I did pretty well, though. I think one of the trophies I got, let's see, um, bonuses? Collectibles... Yeah, I got 112 out of 141, so I did pretty good for not using a, um, a, a guide or whatever every, every chance I got. So this is pretty dang cool. Way better than I did in something along the lines of um, Uncharted. Uncharted, the best I think I did was I got about 61 out of 100. Um, I think I did that with Uncharted 3. Anyways drawing this to a close. I've been rambling long enough. Thank you all for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed um, this game. At least hopefully somewhat as much as I did. Let's let's check out statistics just for the fun of it. F total kills, 524. 25 deaths. 5 allied deaths. I don't recall that. Weird. Damage taken, a lot. Firearm kills, 267. <laughs> accuracy 78% which is not bad for me especially with a uh, PlayStation 3 I think my accuracy has kind of done a little bit of a roller coaster thing I think it dropped off again from where it was at last time I checked melee kills I really enjoy melee I don't know why it is but I prefer using melee when possible you see that in my Uncharted playthroughs. You see this in this game. I got all the tools. I'm probably going to play through um, New Game Plus in my own time. I'm not going to record it. Melee weapons crafted. Molotov kills. Bomb kills. Kills inside smoke. Kills inside smoke make me see, makes me think of Assassin's Creed, um, like in Revelations or 
whatever, use all the different bombs and then you jump in and try to kill the guards as quickly as you can before the smoke dissipates. Close range bloater kills, one. Stalker stealth kills, one. So there we go. We're seeing a time of 16 hours, 40 minutes for me to get through the game one time. Um, granted, that takes into consideration that I died a bunch and I had to start over, so probably less game time than that. Maybe um, just an estimate of maybe 14 hours, 15 hours to get through the whole game uh, if you manage to do it without dying. Anyways... Thank you all for watching. Um, be sure to check out some of my other LPs. I have new content that will be coming in the following month or so. Uh, stick around. I'd love to hear any suggestions that you guys may have for games, and I'll, I'll gladly consider them. Um, please keep it to PS3 or, I guess, maybe even PC titles for now, because um, I'm kind of pulling away from the Xbox. Uh, nothing against them, but it's, uh, I need to get used to using a DualShock controller and bouncing back and forth between the two kind of causes problems. <laughs> Excuse me. Anyways, I'll see you guys later.